Welcome to Brain Snacks, where big ideas are served in bite-sized portions. I'm your host, and today's snack is a little larger than usual, because we're diving into one of the most fascinating and misunderstood forces in the modern world. Artificial intelligence. You've heard the hype. You've seen the headlines. AI is writing essays, composing music, diagnosing cancer, driving cars, and yes, even making podcasts. But how did we get here? What's really happening under the hood? And where does it all lead? Let's dig in. To understand where AI is going, we need to rewind to where it began. The dream of intelligent machines isn't new. Ancient myths gave us mechanical beings, automatons and golems. But the real scientific push came in the 20th century. In 1950, British mathematician Alan Turing asked, Can machines think? He proposed a simple test. If a human couldn't tell the difference between a machine's conversation and a real person's, the machine could be considered intelligent. That idea, the Turing test, became a cornerstone of AI theory. Just six years later, in 1956, a group of scientists gathered at Dartmouth College. Their goal? Teach machines to reason like humans. They called it artificial intelligence, and the field was born. Optimism was sky high. Many thought human-level AI was just a couple decades away, but reality had other plans. Instead of rapid progress, researchers ran into walls. Early systems were fine at math and logic puzzles, but they crumbled when faced with the messy, unpredictable nature of the real world. Funding dried up. Interest cooled. This period became known as the AI winter, a time when promises far outpaced performance. But the field didn't disappear. It evolved quietly and waited for three crucial ingredients. Better data, better algorithms, and more computing power. Those ingredients finally came together in the 2000s. Unlike traditional programming, where humans write the rules, modern AI systems learn patterns from examples, show an algorithm, thousands of cat photos, and it figures out what a cat looks like. Not because it's told cats have whiskers, but because the pattern reveals itself through the data. This approach is called machine learning, and when taken to the extreme, using massive networks modeled after the brain, it becomes deep learning. With deep learning and the right hardware, AI could finally do things like recognize faces, understand language, and even write its own code. That's when the breakthroughs started to snowball. By 1997, IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Garry Kasparov. In 2011, Watson crushed the best players in Jeopardy. In 2016, AlphaGo beat a champion at the game of Go. Something many experts thought was decades away. And by the early 2020s, we had AI models that could write poems, generate art, hold conversations, and even compose music. You've probably heard of some. ChatGPT, Midjourney, Claude, Gemini. These aren't just novelties. They're general-purpose tools that can perform a wide range of cognitive tasks. Tasks we once assumed only humans could do. AI isn't just showing off on game shows and chat apps. It's changing industries. In healthcare, AI is reading medical scans, predicting disease risks, and even helping design new drugs. In finance, it detects fraud, analyzes markets, and speeds up underwriting. In education, it adapts to how students learn, customizing lessons in real time. In agriculture, it monitors soil, forecasts, yields, and even controls irrigation. And in your daily life, it's on your phone, curating your feed, routing your commute, and cleaning up your blurry photos. AI is not a tool of the future. It's already woven into the present. But even with all the momentum behind AI, there are still some hurdles ahead. Not roadblocks necessarily, but challenges we'll need to navigate carefully. One of the biggest is explainability. Many AI models are complex. So complex that even the people who build them can't always explain why they make certain decisions. That's a problem in sensitive areas like healthcare or criminal justice, where transparency and accountability matter. But it's also an opportunity 
researchers are now working on ways to make artificial intelligence more interpretable to pull back the curtain so we better understand how these systems think. Another challenge is regulation. Governments are playing catch-up, trying to write laws for a technology that evolves by the week. But progress is happening. The European Union has proposed the AI Act, one of the most comprehensive regulatory frameworks in the world. And in the United States, public and private sectors are beginning to collaborate on guidelines that balance innovation with safety. Then there's the workforce question. Yes, AI will change jobs. Some will go away, others will evolve, and entirely new roles will emerge that we haven't even imagined yet. The key will be education, training, and policies that help workers transition, not just react, but adapt and thrive. And here is something you might not expect. Artificial intelligence needs a lot of power, literally. Training a large AI model requires enormous computational resources, often using massive data centers that consume as much electricity as some small countries. It's a hidden cost behind the magic. But here, too, innovation is already underway. Companies are optimizing their models to be faster and leaner. Researchers are developing energy-efficient algorithms. And some firms are even training AI using renewable-powered data centers. The bottom line? The energy demands are real. But so is the effort to make AI more sustainable as it scales. And finally, there's the question of access. Right now, the most advanced AI models are being developed by a handful of big tech companies. But open source communities, startups, and academic labs are all helping broaden the playing field. With the right investment and infrastructure, AI can be a rising tide, not just for a few, but for many. So where does that leave us? Some researchers believe we're on the path to artificial general intelligence. Machines that can reason, plan, and learn across any domain. Others warn that AI could eventually surpass human intelligence entirely and become difficult or impossible to control. That may sound like science fiction, but, but a few years ago, so did everything we're seeing now. What's clear is this. AI will shape the future, but the shape it takes is still up to us because artificial intelligence doesn't have values. It doesn't care about fairness or truth or kindness. That part still depends on the humans. Thanks for tuning in to Brain Snacks. Subscribe for more big ideas explained simply.